this is the last time President Joe Biden will address a major international forum, the hundreds of leaders who gather each year for the United Nations General Assembly. It comes at a clutch moment, says the U.S. ambassador to the global body. We say this every year, but this UNGA could not come at a more critical and more challenging moment. The list of crises and conflicts that demand attention and action only seem to grow and grow. Atop that list, Gaza. Here, the U.S. position is not in line with the rest of the assembly, which last week overwhelmingly passed a resolution demanding that Israel end its occupation of Palestinian territory within the next 12 months. The United States was among the 14 no votes, which Thomas Greenfield said was in line with Washington's opposition to unilateral measures that undermine the prospect of a two-state solution. Analysts expect Biden to discuss his support of Israel and his support of Ukraine in this year's address. They spotlight those two conflicts as major challenges as he ends his presidency. With the Middle East, this looks like, you know, how do you keep the lid on this and see, hope the conflict doesn't spiral out of control into a regional war. And, you know, I think there's anybody's best guess about what's going to happen. there. One thing is painfully clear. As the conflict nears the one-year mark, nearly 100 hostages are thought to remain in Hamas custody. The White House says bringing them home is their top priority and the key pillar of a deal to halt the fighting between Israel and the militant group. Kessler said many leaders will give Biden a warm welcome during his valedictory speech as he has used his term to rebuild alliances and reestablish global norms. There is a lot of affection for him out there in most nations. Of course, there's a few where there, there is not. Biden Speaks in New York, Tuesday. Anita Powell, VOA News, New York.